Hi everyone, Kaze here. So it's been a while since I made a useful video on YouTube, but recently I had a conversation with a friend about how I go about making my jerseys, and instead of trying to explain everything through typing, I thought I'd make a quick video tutorial guide on how I go about making my jerseys. Um, anyways, the jerseys I'm focusing on today are going to be Season 2 KMB jerseys. This method is pretty much the method I use for all my jerseys, so you can just take it and modify it however you want to make any other type of jerseys out there. Um, so let's get started! So for this outfit I needed um, white and black ponte fabric, some bias tape, and iron-on transfer papers. For me, because I'm a size small, I only need um, two yards of white ponte fabric, and for the black I only used whatever I had left over from home, so I'm not quite sure how much you would need for yourself, but do measure that out for yourself. And for the bias tape, I would suggest at least three packets of each color, and then iron-on you only need about one packet because you use about only two sheets. Uh, onwards. So the first thing we're going to do is create the pattern for the shirt. You can either use a plain t-shirt that fits you or an already made jersey like I have since I have so many. You can use an already made jersey as the pattern. If not, a plain t-shirt will do. Um, the only difference is that you're going to want to trace around the t-shirt without the arms. And that's about it. So after you cut out both pieces, you're going to end up with one piece having a V neckline and one piece having a round scoop. And then we're going to cut off two and a half inches off the sides. Um, we're doing this because on the season two jerseys, they have black pieces instead of white. So we're going to replace the white pieces with black. Like this one right here. So after we reattach the black part back onto the armholes, we're going to take our red bias tape and top stitch it onto the jersey. So the part I'm talking about is this part on the jersey. This is all top stitched, so is this and this part. But the black piece is actually sewn on the proper way of how you're supposed to sew on bias tape. So be sure to read the directions on the bias tape how to do that for the black piece. But um, what you're going to want to do is just place the bias tape onto the jersey. Uh, be sure to look at a reference picture about the placement. We're going to place it here next to, the first piece is going to be right next to the black piece. And you're going to leave some space, because this part is going to be the white for when we sew it onto the second piece. So top stitch right here. This part is going to be red. This piece too. And then, don't forget the back. This part is going to be red. This part is also going to be red. And then after that we're going to do the black pieces. The black pieces are going to just be right here on the jersey. So this piece as well. And in the middle part between the black and the red there's going to be a white space so you're not going to have to put any bias tape there. And once that is all sewn on, you can finally just attach them together. So you're just going to sew right along this part and the arm, the sides. So this is what it looks like once it's sewn together, the tops and the sides. Um, obviously without the logo in the middle. Um, that's what the front looks like, and here is the back. And now on to how to put on the logos. So in order to do the logos, I'm going to use this iron-on packet called Artware Transfer Sheets for Inkjet Printers, Crayons, and Markers. Because I don't have an inkjet printer, I'm going to just use regular fabric markers and draw directly onto the iron-on sheet. So on the front, it is going to be just a white matte look. And on the back of the iron, it's going to have two blue lines which indicate it is the back. But we're going to draw on the white side. So I'm going to draw out my design. And once I'm done drawing it out, I'm going to cut it out. And then you're going to remove the backing and place the glossy side onto your fabric. And put a piece of fabric on top of the iron on and then iron it down. Be sure you read the directions because I am just giving you a simplified version of them. And then onto your shorts. 
As for the shorts, I'm not going to explain how I made it completely because there's already a very good short tutorial online which I will link below, but I will teach you guys how to make the designs on the sides. So let's get started. So after you cut out your two patterns, you're going to want to cut out the middle parts of each pattern. So we're going to mark that off right here and on the second one. So in order to get the middle design, you're going to cut out two pieces of fabric, a piece of white and black. They should be at least an inch bigger than the initial piece of fabric you cut off from the shorts in the middle. You're going to sew those together on the wrong side, and then after those are sewn together, you're going to be adding the sides of the shorts back on to the middle pieces. Sew those up, and the seam should all be inside. Be sure that you're looking at reference pictures to get the designs correct and all the details. Um, after that, you're going to flip it to the front. You're going to sew on red bias tape by top stitching. And after that, you're going to repeat on the other side. And once that is complete, you're going to sew up your shorts all together and you'll be done with your shorts. Make sure you hem the bottoms. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope it was somewhat helpful, useful in any way to you guys. If you do have any questions, do leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, my next video will hopefully be about how I make my Haikyuu jerseys. I do already have a step-by-step -step picture kind of tutorial guide on my fan page, so do check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, until next time, Johnny!